the gas is required dry, it can be dried by two ways. The first one is bubbling it into a new tube containing anhydrous calcium chloride, that is a drying agent, and then collecting it using a syringe. It is one of the apparatus we studied. The, a syringe is used to collect gas in the following cases. One is when the gas that you're collecting has a density that is almost that of air. Number two is when the volume of the gas collected is required. You mean you need the volume, exact volume. And in the third way or the third reason why we would use a syringe to collect gas is when the gas is being collected is toxic and should not be allowed to escape anyhow. So the YouTube is an apparatus that we may not have come up with, but just as the name suggests, it is a YouTube, as you can see in this diagram. You bubble in moist oxygen, it goes through the calcium anhydrous calcium hydroxide through the YouTube, then you collect it dry on the other side. This is the YouTube. The second method that you can use to dry the oxygen when you have collected it over water is by bubbling it into a wash bottle that contains concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. The concentrated acid absorbs the moisture present. So you bubble the moist gas in to the wash bottle that contains the concentrated acid and then on the other side you collect it dry using a syringe. It is good to mention that the delivery tube which goes into the wash bottle gets right into the concentrated acid while the delivery tube that collects the dry oxygen gas is high above and does not touch the acid. This is to ensure that all the oxygen that comes into the wash bottle goes right into the acid to be dried. The only gas that gets out is the gas that has been bubbled through the acid. 